Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Today we're going to jump forward in time again, hopefully get some new options rather than horses and carts. We'll see. Uh, we're going to go on to the next mission. So let me let the excellent narrator read it out for you and let's see where we need to go to. In the north of Britain, in the midst of the Victorian era, the industrial city of Glasgow is bursting at the seams. The factories are working full blast, but the competition is not sleeping. In terms of economic issues, the countries in continental Europe have long since caught up. Something must be done to stop the cradle of the Industrial Revolution from falling behind. Anyone who doesn't toe the line now will fall by the wayside. Oh good, the British Empire. Yes, that, that all went very, very well, didn't it? Hmm. Anyway, we've jumped forward 25 years and uh, there will still be horses and carts, it looks like, because you can see one right in the picture. So let's get started and see what we have to do. Uh, oh, we've got three bonus tasks. Ferryman's wages, so presumably a ferry of some kind. And if it's the British Empire in Glasgow, not sure if a river runs through Glasgow. I've only been there a couple of times, but we'll have to see. Uh, Craig, that done. I'm going to really badly, really badly massacre any sort of... Um, Scottish, uh, Celtic, Gaelic, anything like that will uh, will be mispronounced by me and fleecy charge. So sheep, yes, um, <laughs> you don't grow grow arable crops in Scotland. So okay, let's get started. The land of enlightenment, the land of progress. The land of science. The land of industry. The land of really good whiskey? The Glasgow City Council wants Aww. to modernize the transport infrastructure so that the city remains the vibrant industrial metropolis that it is today in the future as well. With your transport company, you're as good as predestined for this sort of contract. The shipyards on the Firth of Clyde have been famous for their sturdy boats for quite some time. New processes for the mass production of high-quality steel are now opening up previously undreamt of possibilities. A member of the City Council recently proposed to you during a pheasant hunt whether you'd like to supply his friends in the shipbuilding industry with this essential material. Coal and iron are available in abundance in the areas around Glasgow. Off to the blast furnace with them. Okay, so we've got to deliver coal and iron, and we got the Glasgow here. So presumably the ferry is going to be coming across the estuary at some point. Uh, that's going to be one of those things. Uh, so yeah, let's see where we go. So what's what have we got started? We've got to get coal, which is from here. Okay, interesting. And uh, iron ore, which is further further away, and then go bring that to the steelworks, and we can bring that the heavy any way we'd like. And rather nicely, we've got roads, <laughs> sort of. Okay, so why don't we add some more roads and then we'll see where we go from there. Um, since we have them both coming here, we sort of maybe want a depot nearby or something like that. So why don't we just get started with roads? Um, yeah, uh, streets, small street. <laughs> okay, oh, we have even country roads. I'm giving us a country road right next to it. Um, two lane road with a speed limit 60, speed limit 20. Very odd. Why can we just get away with um, a two-lane road? Yeah, that's going to be pretty cheap. And we'll just run it this way. Okay, two lanes should be just fine. Ah, it went through a hill. Uh, that was expensive. <laughs> but we have $49 million. Why isn't dollars if we're in Glasgow? It should keep, keep changing the currency depending on what we're in the local local area. Um, that'd be kind of cool, actually. You know, pounds in England, uh, dollars in America, and, uh, well, the Euros don't even exist yet at this point in time. So, yeah, well, oof, that might be a bit complicated. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not getting nightmares to the programmers. Uh, let's just do the rest of this with another road, and we'll just use the same country road. So, um, let's bring it around here. Ugh. Don't really like that kind of thing, but I guess it'll have to do. Yeah, bit of a sharp corner there. 
No roundabouts available yet, but we'll see about that later. And let's get our depot running. So we want a building. We want a, uh, well, we want some stops. Uh, truck station, truck and load stop, road depot. So let's get our truck station first. And that can just basically connect to this. There it goes. And I'm uh, going to use the fine tune just to have it be nicely nearby. Okay, and then we want to stop up here somewhere. For pickup, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bulldoze the trees, even though they're closer slightly. I'm gonna spin this around and then we'll just have it right about there. Okay, there's one stop, and then our other stop is gonna be for the coal. And again, we're gonna align this so that it's nice with uh, with the existing coal stop. There we go. Oops. There we go. Okay. So we've got three stops, and then we just need something simple to get between them, uh, which is going to be, well, we need to supply with the depot. And let's put that depot nearby. Um, yep, same thing again. And that's everything, I think. So we just need to buy some transport. Uh, we have stagecoaches. I want cargo transport. It's a European covered horse-drawn carriage. Fine. Uh, we're probably going to want two of them, so at least two of them, okay? But we're not going to have them both on the same line. We're going to have them on separate ones. Uh, so I'm going to need to create two lines now. We're going to need to create... I like the game's going to introduce you to... Um, yeah, it's complexity gradually like this. Uh, we got, uh, obviously, multi-train lines last episode. Today we're going to have multi... <laughs> well, multi-line roads, if you like. Yes, uh, so a new line. Let's just create this. So this is just going to be um, iron to steel. Well, iron steel road. And a second line. And this one's going to be coal steel road. Cool. So iron steel road, we want that stop up here. And this one. Coal Steel Road, we want this one. Whoops, Coal Steel Road. Add a station, yeah, that one. Now, I can add the same station having two different products, it looks like. You see, it's got two different sides. If we ever have three, that might be more of a problem, but two seems to work just fine. So then we're just going to go back to our vehicles. Uh, wherever the vehicles are. There they are, Vehicle Manager. Road Vehicle 1, doesn't really much matter which way around I put this. I'll put that on the coal. And road vehicle two, I will put that on the iron. Okay, and then that's done, I think. So if I just come out of this for a second, they should leave, I think. Uh, yes. Yeah, they're selected. So we can just press forward in time and off they'll go. Yeah, this one will be dropping off, but it can't really do anything right now. And off it's going to head over. So let's jump forwards till they've delivered their product. In comes our, well, our coal's already been in. This is our iron, so it should complete this mission. The shipyards crave steel for colossal tubs. The bigger, the better. But it doesn't get there all by itself. Okay, so deliver 10 steel in the industrial area of Glasgow, which is all the way over here, which is... A quaint little town at this point in history, it looks like, at least from this uh, from this game's point of view. Uh, town has divided three land uses, a layer shows the three areas. Okay, so we need to deliver it to the industrial area of Glasgow, a bit more complicated than before. Uh, usual um, sort of colours for any kind of city building game, yellow being industrial area. So, fine, we have to have a truck stop over here and basically get that connected. So, streets, uh, nope, buildings... Truck station, yeah, truck station. I'm going to have to put this somewhere that, well, I may just demolish a building. <laughs> I don't, don't like to do it, but in this case, uh, I'm going to get rid of these two buildings, I think. And we'll just line that back up. I do wish for mouse controls for this. If anyone does know of mouse controls, I am happy to hear of it. Anyway. That just means we need to get steel going from all the way over here, all the way over here. So let's turn off the land use layer again. You'll see we've got the, obviously, the Glasgow streets. 
which are paved and then they've got a country road over there so um not sure they should just have the country road come in this way actually and it doesn't seem to have any requirements for using the uh, more expensive road so why don't we just get that going and have it oh don't really like that too much it's going quite expensive 371,000 uh might be nice if it would actually let me hmm can i actually go around that possibly And then from here, like that. Yeah, that's cheaper, even though I shouldn't really bother about it, but that's cheaper. And I'm just wondering, will this actually let me deliver steel from here down without a separate station for receiving it? It doesn't really say um, what I can pick up here. Hopefully, it doesn't show any steel. So, uh, I will create a line there, and we'll see if that actually works. So, um, this is just steel to Glasgow. Cool. And then we'll add this station. This is three uses for it now, which is why I'm, I'm a bit doubtful it will actually do it. Oops. Add a station. And add a station. Okay. It's not objecting yet. We'll see. And then the spy vehicles will have the same kind of vehicles as before. Um, can I not buy... Oh, I need to select a depot. There we go. Five vehicles. Same as before. And now we're going to assign this to the steel to Glasgow line. Great. So it should pick up there if it is available to. But it has nothing picked up. Hmm, yes. So we may need another truck stop. Uh, why don't I just build one anyway, and we'll see if that will actually fix his things. Truck station, uh, we'll have it out here, because it's just closer. And... There we go. Hmm, that's... <laughs> that, that's, that's not great. Oh, uh, can I bulldoze that? Yes. Okay. I need a truck stop that is, is not built into a hillside. It's kind of hard to see without the contour map sometimes. So why don't we just build it down here instead? Uh, is that going to work? That looks like it is going to work. Um, let's just rotate you around. Yeah, that, that's going to work just fine. Okay, it's 90 grand, but um, it should be connected. And Glasgow Sidings, Glasgow North. Hmm. Oh, hang on. No, oh, is that steel? Does it actually tell me what's in here? It'd be nice if it did. It does not. But that looks like steel. Fine. I will wait and see and bulldoze this. Uh, how much do I get back if I bulldoze it? Oh, I don't get anywhere near as much back. Oh. Anyway, we've wasted some of our 49 million. And uh, fine to go. Let's see what happens. Yes, of course I was wrong. The game is perfectly happy. It seems having three trucks into a tr two truck station because two are dropping off and the other one is just picking up. So I'm just going to bulldoze this. Ah, uh, dear. Ah, uh, yes, yes, bulldoze that. That can go away. And off our nice truck. Well, our truck. Yeah, it's not really a truck yet, but it's getting there. It's getting there. It just needs an engine on the front now. And, uh, yep, that's going to head towards Glasgow. And you just need 10 steel there. So once that's finished, I'll bring you back. Now, because that's a little bit slow, what I thought what I would do is you go into the lines here. Um, we can see, obviously, we've got our two truck uh, stops here. In the manage vehicle section, we have... Um, all of our vehicles listed here so instead of assigning them to lines or buying a new one through the uh, the vehicle manager buy vehicles etc when selecting the depot i should just be able to clone an existing one so let's just get another one uh is that replace no clone yes so i can add a second one which is just bought straight away and another one here as well oh no i don't want a mass clone just um just this one Okay, so then we should have two on each of the output lines and then one on the input line. Uh, sorry, yeah, two on each of the input lines from the uh, the raw resources and then only one doing the actual deliveries. But it, it has more capacity than it actually is being used at the moment. So I want more input coming into this factory. That should be fine. 
and it does tell you how much is here when you actually have them so yeah up there at the top it just needs one more uh, route i think it's already on its way down yeah there it is so we should get nine out of ten i think yep so one more run through this and we should be finished with this mission well at least this submission and here we have our our truck uh along with the uh, passenger um yep heading towards destination uh i think what well i'm assuming the reason for actually switching to um paved roads like this is lower maintenance for the vehicles it hasn't got us to maintenance yet but i'm assuming that's why uh the speed limits certainly don't seem to be the reason so i'm sure there is another reason other than that your deliveries of high quality steel make it possible to build particularly seaworthy ships Time to make use of these robust steamers. Sustenance for the city's working masses is found out on the islands. Delectable fish swim in the sea. And the distilleries on the Hebrides produce an absolutely exquisite whiskey. I told you it's whiskey would come into the this. the water of life. I, oh Get yeah, I'm sure it is called the water the of air. life. Every okay. ship needs a harbor. And your venture needs a particularly good one. Fine, so we just need to build a harbour anywhere here. Um, okay, fine. That's new. Ships, entirely new sort of stuff. Cargo, shipyard, um, harbour. Okay, how big is this? Okay, it's not that big. And we have a couple of areas we could build. We could build here off this side, but this is right next to the city. So I'm going to assume it's going to be needing to the, the access to the city. So why don't we rotate you? Um, can we rotate you? Dockside outside of navigable waters. Collision. Uh, can I not build a shipyard there? Maybe I'm just collecting the wrong thing. Uh, cargo harbour. Well, can I build it then? Um, hmm. And it won't let me rotate. Bear with me a second. There we go. It was just a keyboard issue. My fault entirely, not the game's. And uh, is that actually a road on the back side of it? It doesn't really say, so I'm going to leave this a little bit further out than I've got a little bit of control over it, other than that, and, but we will try and line it up to the road network a little bit. And uh, there's our harbour. Okay. Help to build a shipyard so that it won't be long before you can call a beautiful ship your own. Okay, so we have to uh, put a shipyard in the same area somewhere. That's going to be quite expensive. <laughs> okay. Uh, but we have to have it connected to the water, of course, so it has to be here somewhere. Uh, I guess we could put it on the other side, but yeah, I guess I'm going to have to just connect it somehow. So I'm going to have to pay the price here and we'll put it right next door like that. Buy a stately boat that will sail you safely through the wild waters of the Western Isles on your daring expedition. Buy a ship. It's all it's basically say. It doesn't tell me why. Uh, okay, so buy a, buy a ship. It doesn't tell me what it's for. Sail you safely through the wild waters on your daring expedition. So, presume it's a passenger ship. We don't have any passenger ships. We only have small cargo ships. Okay, but it can carry pretty much the same stuff as each other. Uh, just one is a lot larger capacity than the other. And that's about it. It can load a lot faster as well. What's the price difference? Oh, it's nearly double. Okay, well, let's buy the expensive Explore one. Explore the Western Isles to obtain whiskey for the city. Okay, so we need to go from here all the way to Port Ellen. Where's Port Ellen? Oh, it's on an island. There's an island in the middle of nowhere with Scots making whiskey. Um, it's cliche, I know, but it also is probably quite good. Um, not that I drink whiskey. I'm, I'm more of a beer person. But anyway. Uh, we just need a new line, it seems. Okay, it's fine. That's uh, quite a long way, but uh, we don't have to worry about it because it ships. So, line manager it is, and let's just say um, Port Ellen to Glasgow. Glasgow ship line. Cool. And then we'll just add a station. Oops, one there. And one all the way over there. Cool. And then we just need to go and assign our ship to it. So Glasgow Shipyard, ship, and off it should go. There we go. Cool. 
And that's going to basically uh, have the ship sail to the harbour of Port Allen. So it won't until it gets there. And you can see it's docking right now. I perhaps not made that the easiest place for it to dock from the depot, but oh, and it also can't leave very easily. Whew! Oh, never mind. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should set this back further in future. Anyway, fine. This ship's on its way, aside from collision issues. Uh, well, what's the tip telling us? To buy ships from the first billet That's fine, possible. I know. Thanks to your services, its need for steel is always covered. In contrast, a lack of personnel looms on the horizon. Nowadays, the city's working class is outrageously spoiled. The workforce is rebelling more and more against the prevailing working conditions. On the other hand, in the Highlands, countless hungry people wait gratefully for employment. All that needs to be done is to get them to the city. Build a railroad in the wild west of the Highlands so that this remote stretch of land finally experiences the blessings of modern civilization. Okay, so we need to get people from Fort William. Yes, this, this wild and remote set of people. Um, yeah, I'm beginning to think, think this narrator has something against, you know, freedom and, and rights and, and <laughs> stuff like that. The, the guy's just talking about pretty much wage, wage slavery for everyone. Uh, after all, he did just come from the plantations. Fine, that's that one previous mission done. And when we just need train stations, and we've done this before, but we're going to need to get people from Glasgow to Fort William with tracks, etc. Uh, we want the contour overlay with trains. Uh, I'd try to just judge it by eye with roads, but you can see that's not too bad. We can get from Fort William all the way along this valley, all the way down here, past our truck station down to well we need to get them all the way to glasgow that's going to be a bit hassly around here given my previous choice of roads but uh it's possible we can probably bring people into here if it connects so let's look at uh let's look at the trains themselves we want the sort of passenger terminus station and i want to see whether it were it actually needs to be i'm going to turn this off for a second where will actually count for them being delivered to Glasgow anywhere? Uh, that's a car uh, passenger, yes. So, um, well, yeah, it needs to be somewhere in town, doesn't it? Or at least close to town. Um, you know what? I'm going to put it out here. I'm going to rotate it around. And hopefully this will count. There we go. Okay, and uh, if I'm doing anything wrong there, I'm sure people will tell me. But otherwise, that's one end, and we'll have to put the other end in Fort William. So this is, again, going to be uh, probably outside of town. Uh, let's uh, rotate this around. There we go. So we have two ends of the tracks, and the tracks, again, we'll just use the contour overlay, because this is uh, going to be really, really helpful in getting this to the right place. So I'm going to bring that down to here, yep, through here, definitely not going to go out of this contour, I'll bring it all the way to Glasgow. And the line's now completely connected all the way through from one to the other, aside from this really expensive bridge section in the middle. Um, it just drops down into rain here, so yeah, a train line's not really good for going just... These days, no. big landowners' fleecy balls of wool now graze, where families of farmers once cultivated their patches. Lady MacDougall asks for help. She wants to know if all her little sheep are still together. I guess we'll accept this as well. Help with accounting. Look to see if all the sheep are still there. Yeah, I'll go find those in a minute. <laughs> in the meantime, we have to transport people from one to the other. So we have uh, down here, we have this sort of end of the passenger terminus. So we are going to probably want people to come from here down to Glasgow. So we want our depot uh, built on here, a uh, train depot. And we're going to spin it, well, basically, so that it's pointing towards Glasgow. I remember that one after last episode. And let's get this lined up. I'm going to have it in parallel to the tracks and let's just join them a little bit further in. Okay, and then we'll just connect this with tracks. Okay, and this hopefully will 
<laughs> do I click on sheep here? Is this the other mission? Where, where, where is the sheep? I don't see any sheep around. Yeah. Okay, so let's just buy a vehicle. And now we want locomotives. We don't have electric or diesel yet. This is the Victorian year after all. And we don't have to care too much about the cost of it. So um, what do we have? High power. So that's the highest power one we've got. And um, passenger cars. Let's just add about three of those. And then that should be done. We need to need to create a line, don't we? Uh, unless I've already created one. Have I? No, I haven't. New line. Fort, uh, Fort William to Glasgow. There we go. All right, so now we just need to assign our vehicle. Train number one. And off it goes. That with that, that mission pretty much done. It just has to wait to well, it has to pick people up. How many people are there right now? Probably none. Uh well we can tell by clicking on the train now. Has it has it actually picked any people up? It has not. It needs time for people to actually arrive. Fine, so I'll go and chase some sheep down and bring you back once uh, once that's done. So I went and found all those sheep, and now it says, uh, well, now I've done that, they've fallen asleep after we've counted them all. So make some noise to wake them up again. Now, that, that's an odd thing to say, but the only thing I know that makes noise is a bulldozer. So uh, some people in Glasgow, uh, yes, yeah, sorry, uh, but um, is that going to make noise? Are we going to have to delete all of Glasgow? Oh, oh. What's going on here? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Inventory's over and done with. <laughs> the sheep are all there. Uh, madam, sir. Okay, that's that one done. And back to transporting people. Uh, there are people waiting at either end now, so I'm just going to wait until that's done. Oh, well, in fact, there's, there's one. But uh, yeah, we need to wait for it to be done, and I'll bring you back when that's uh, finished. And this should be our final load of passengers heading down to Glasgow. You can see how steep the grade is now. And uh, that's pretty good. So, yeah, here it comes. The new workers from the Highlands are remarkably productive as they slave away. To keep them in a good mood and make sure they don't fall for any kinds of rebellious activities, precautionary sedation is called for. Whiskey from the Western Isles is excellently suited to this purpose. Supply the city with cheap booze that pacifies the dissatisfied so that subversive activities don't get started. Plunge into the wonderful world of spirits. Thanks to your supply, no one will be left high and dry. Okay, so presumably whiskey is actually being kept uh, well, it needs to be brought to the commercial area, but presumably it's being kept from this uh, this shipyard, which is obviously delivering stuff all the way from out here. So, uh, yeah, we want probably a truck stop on near the station. Uh, let's just build a truck station around here. Without fail, some of the whiskey oddly disappears in transit. Yeah, that's odd. Is it likely that it evaporates out on the open seas? Is it the legendary Angel Share? imperceptibly vanishes there. If it is, then the angels must be awfully thirsty. Hmm, yeah. Let me go try and position this truck stop. Uh, it has to count for the, the shipyard, so we're probably going to need to connect this shipyard with a road first, I think. Uh, so let's just get a street going, and we'll just use this to go straight to here. Maybe? Yep. Okay, and now that that's close enough with this... Oh, that's narrower. That's going to annoy me at some point. Yeah, it is a two-lane road, though, so that's fine. And let's get a truck station from here. And it does count for the shipyard, of course. That's the main point. And I'm going to just rotate that a little bit. Too much curvature? Come on, let me build. Can I build on this side? Uh, no, that's too close to that. Uh, that should be fine. Okay, so I'll build a little one in town and connect the two together. You've seen this before, so I don't need to show you that. 
other than to say it has to be the commercial area not to anywhere else and this is the commercial area right here so uh we want a truck stop right around here somewhere so i'll probably bulldoze a couple of buildings here and we'll get that going uh so i'll just put these down while you're watching and uh let's just uh, rotate you rotate you faster uh wow that's a lot of buildings that will be destroyed um <laughs> Okay, why don't we just go for Atwood this way. And a lot of those want at whiskey, it seems. Whiskey and fish seems to be a big thing. Uh, two buildings will be demolished. Uh, can I get that? No, two is the smallest. Fine, that will have to do. That's where our line's going. So this extra mission we can accept. A ship sails through the locks of the Inner Hebrides, rolling from side to side in peculiar curves. Word has it that cheerful singing coming from the steamer was heard on shore. So, yeah, I found the ship. Here it is. Uh, sometimes this doesn't actually really select things um, as easily as I might imagine. Uh, although that does say uh, steel, and it's not steel that we want to bring, it's whiskey, which is very odd. Uh, can we manage the vehicle? Can we select that it only brings certain things? Hmm, that's not good. I need it to bring whiskey. So they might have occasionally treated themselves to a sip from the cargo. That just won't do, of course. If at all, then they ought to get drunk like self-respecting people do it. Inside a good pub where it's nice and cozy. Yep, so we need to supply whiskey to the pub. Um, the ship did pick up whiskey next time it went across, so I don't need to do anything specific with the ship, that's just fine. And it's bringing it down here to the truck station, which is going to bring it all the way down into uh, the commercial district. Okay, so we need to get the uh, the pub, basically, to uh, to have a sort of route there. That there's a pub. Yep. <laughs> there it is, Glasgow pub. It's just this restaurant on the front, but that's, that's generally not, not a pub. Um, well, maybe, sometimes. <laughs> Moving in, really. Uh, never mind. Let's do this. Uh, so we just need to get uh, the, the pub to whiskey. Well, the whiskey to the pub. So this truck stop is within range of that pub. So I'm just wondering if that actually counts. We'll see very shortly. I think it's going to have uh, some of that. No, it does not look like it. Uh, even though I am delivering whiskey. Um, if I click on this, you see it does say that's connected to the pub. So why are you not? Unless I need something very, very local, but hopefully not. Slime chill, as they say around here. Lately, people have been quenching their thirst and staying dry at the same time. Okay, so the uh, the delivery to the pub works fine because that truck station was in range of the pub. As soon as the first mission, the Deliver, the Deliver 25 Whiskey was done, it went on and uh, basically completed this one as well. And then the last thing here is connecting a fishery. So we need to connect a fishery somehow here. We go cargo station at the fishery, which is all the way over here, and use tracks to connect it to Glasgow. And you'll see, well... <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're going to need to join onto here with a typical kind of uh, way of allowing them to pass. So we need a siding somewhere with uh, with signals and we'll get that sorted just like we did in the last mission. So just a brief reminder, uh, tracks, we're going to need a way to pass here. So if we just grab this and come off this side somewhere. Okay, that will do. And we'll do the same thing over here. And then we'll just grab it all the way from here to here. And then we just need to put some signals in place. Yeah. It's one on this side. One on this side. And then that will let two trains exist on the same line. And then we just need to basically link this together with uh, basically a train stop coming from the other end. So let's get that going as well. We want a train building and this is a cargo station. Don't need a modular one, just a cargo terminus station, which is going to be fine. And then we need to basically build one at the other end as well. We need to build one in Glasgow, a uh, cargo station, wherever Glasgow is. There you are. Okay, so we're going to need to have uh, probably... An, oh, this is going to be a bit annoying. We can put it alongside the original one, I suppose. Uh, cargo terminus station, how large are you? We can bring that, that length of the track down a little bit. 
And that may... Does that actually count for Glasgow, though? We may have to have a lot closer. Collision, yes. I may have to demolish that road. Yeah, and that means they have to go around a little while. Um, unless I can put it over here. It's going to be a bit annoying as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to demolish this road. Sorry, road. Uh, they can go around. It's perfectly fine. And then we'll have everything connect somewhere over here. And I'll link everything together. You've seen it in the last episode. I'm going to skip forwards. And with that line open running, the train's heading down to the fishery to take delivery. And then we just need to accept this other mission. It says a mysterious stone circle is going to transport you into the past. We can help James Frazier win the Battle of Culloden. So let's just accept the stones that. stones don't reveal their secret to just anyone. Prove that you are worthy of their wonders. How is this achieved? Well, that's written in the stars. Right, stone circle puzzle. Where's the stone circle? There is no question mark. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Right. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, roundabouts. If you haven't been to the UK, we're rather fond of roundabouts. The American grid system just was far too late for us. Remember, all of our towns are quite old, so we couldn't just bulldoze them and put a grid system down. So uh, very often we decided to fondly link roads together that arrived at odd kind of angles in roundabouts and uh, yeah that is being somewhat demonstrated by this this uh, very odd roundabout but but a roundabout non nonetheless so modify the carriage route and let it drive along the secret form um right uh doesn't really much tell me other than that now without looking this up the only thing i can think of that it wants us to do is draw something like a pentangle or something like that where we got a five pointed star some sort of witchcraft that sort of thing and uh, that just means i'm going to basically have to modify it so from one we're going to go to three first so uh can we actually just modify this by moving it dragging it up and down or will it actually let me do that um no okay fine no filter currently set. I want to modify this route. How do I modify these? Well, if it won't let me drag them, I'm just going to delete them all. Yep, and then we're just going to add stations. So we're just going to draw something from here. So, uh, well, one there, one there, one there. Whoops, not twice. Uh, so one, uh, so five, two, four. This one, then this one, and that should go back to the start. I think that's right. Very hard to, without seeing that, but let's see what happens when it gets all the way around. Reveal. Although they didn't teleport you back to 1746, it was only to last Monday morning. But maybe that is better than waking up in the midst of a fierce battle. Yep, so that was the solution, thankfully. Only thing I could think of with five points. Okay, and delivering fish. Well, we've got one fish delivered. That needs to be uh, fast forwarded, I think. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when that's done. I think this is pretty much the final thing for this. Uh, if the ferry bonus quest is done, then I guess we've just got to get this done. Uh, how much fish do we have? We have 98 fish. Okay, that should be able to be delivered. Uh, where is our, where's our train? Uh, hopefully it is somewhere. Is that the passenger train or is that the... No, it has 16 fish. That's fine. It's been delivered and it'll go back and get into the load. It just needs to wait for one uh, one trip. And in comes our train with its final load of fish. At least for this particular mission. And in it comes. I do need some other ways of connecting uh, everything together. Rather than this single siding. It causes uh, the train to wait quite a long time. Thanks to your efforts... The industrial metropolis of Glasgow is really bursting into bloom. The factories are supplied with inexpensive labour and the workforce with hard liquor and fish. The city council is grateful and has even proposed to Her Majesty Queen Victoria that you should be knighted. What an honour! 
And that's the end of this episode. So we're now in 1895. We have a road, we have rail, we have ships. We do not yet have air travel. Um, that's probably going to be a skip forward. Uh, we'll have to see when uh, it actually jumps us forward to in the next episode. So if you want to look forward to that, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell for notifications of more episodes. And we'll see you next time. As always, guys, thanks for watching.